NBA. Our game tonight featuring the Indiana Fever as they go up against the New York Liberty. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. And we're going old school tonight. These squads pound the ball inside. It feels like a throwback, huh, Tim? Oh, yeah. I love it. We're going back to the late 90s. It feels like uh, back when the WNBA started. I'm looking forward to this one. We almost only see games these days with a boatload of threes. Yeah, and I'm excited to see something different. Pay attention to the position down low. Getting the ball closer to the rim makes things a lot easier on a post. McCowan, that's in there. Tiffany Mitchell with the assist. Tremendous vision for Mitchell to spot the wide open teammate. That kind of unselfishness is contagious. Outside Whitcomb. Over Breland. Whitcomb misses. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Robinson. Mitchell, Whitcomb defending. Now here's Mitchell. He's covered closely. That one, good for two. And buckets like this get Mitchell going, showing she's not going to back down from any physical defenders. Laney with it. McCowan's there. Laney, good. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now, here's Mitchell. Screen by McCowan. Fires high, close. And another basket for Indiana. She can shoot, she can pass, she can ball handle. In the pick and roll game, Mitchell is hard to stop because she's a threat to do anything. Pass to Han. Now, Whitcomb. Down low. On the wing, Sammy Whitcomb. Shot clock at five. Laney, she's covered by Mitchell. From past the arc, she can't get that one to fall. Now Indiana takes it the other way. Doesn't go for her. Laney with some nice D. Here's Han. Laney outside. Bader on the way, and it's blocked by Jessica Breland. Well, with strong defensive instincts and awareness, Breland has become a respected shot blocker. And what you appreciate most about Jessica Breland is the defense she provides. When she's on the floor, she's going to give you everything. And she really takes pride in blocking shots and coming up with steals. She gets yeah. that one. Obviously, McCowan's 6'7 size Mitchell. helps her down low, but she also has a little host of ways to beat you in some nice touch. Knocked away. Here's Ionescu. McCowan with the rebound. And Breland's work ethic is just tremendous, and it's why her teammates enjoy playing with her. Not everyone who likes to play defense, but uh, really, really, really gets after it on this end, and the coaching staff appreciates it. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need to block it in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Ionescu. Here's Howard. And so she draws the foul on the shot. That trip to the line to shoot two. First team foul. Well, you talk about someone who saw their career blossom. That's what Natasha Howard did a few years back. She went from being a bench threat to an all-star starter when she moved to Seattle. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And for Howard, she's been a fixture in starting lineups ever since. Yeah, and now that Howard is a centerpiece of a team, she could have some of her best years in terms of production. I mean, she already has three titles to her name, so we know she's a proven winner. So she gets them both. Well, as Howard's minutes have increased over the years, 
so has her production. And I think she's only scratching the surface of her potential. Now here is Breland. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. The fadeaway. They get the rebound. And the basket is good. Got it to go through the contact. So a free throw coming up. Opportunity for a three-point play. The backbone of this team's interior play, McCowan really D's up. She's a terrific rebounder, and her size alone can cause matchup problems. For all she's already accomplished, McCowan's just getting started. Oh, absolutely. There's just so much upside. A couple areas where she's trying to improve. Free throw shooting and range on the jumper. Howard can't get it to go. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Whitcomb with the steal. Out to the wing. Back to Howard. Ionescu, Robinson covering, and the basket by Ionescu. The easy look off the pass from Howard, great awareness, leads to the bucket. Outside, Robinson, pass to Mitchell. Drains it from nine feet away. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean. There's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Man, you just made me hungry. But, but that's right. Five of their last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. Swiss cheese. Good work there as it goes. Well, that's the decisiveness you need to have on catch-and-shoot jumpers. Howard doesn't really second-guess her shot attempts. Now, here is Robinson. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Mitchell, clock at six. Using the post moves to get the two points. Yeah, they've got themselves in front right now with some outstanding shooting right off the bat. You like to see that aggression early on. It's been a, just an absolute clinic at that end of the floor. They're filling it up. Here's Han. Pass to Howard. Tries it from nine. Unable to get that one to go. Jessica Breland with some nice Ds. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Mitchell outside. Let's it go from deep. Basket is good. The assist from Danielle Robinson. Defensively giving up far too many open looks. To battle back, they'll need to simply shore up their defense. It's as easy as that. Now here is Ionescu. Pass to Whitcomb. Howard. Now Han. Yanescu right side. Han. Here's Whitcomb. Here's Howard. And there's two points. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Check out the heart and hustle from Howard on the glass. She's good at creating second chance opportunities. And there's the foul. It's on Danielle Robinson. That is her first foul of the game. Way to get there first and absorb the contact. Yeah, clearly no flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. New York trailing here. Gray outside. Allen. Pass to Han. On the wing, Rebecca Allen. The kick out to Ionescu. And that one drops for The great size for a point. Ionescu to just bounce off contact. Indiana with the ball. Aleman with it. Pass to Lavender. To the middle. 
Here's Vivian. The rebound by the Liberty. Here's Allen. Durr with it. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go to the line. And some players have made the leap. Is this for real, or should we wait a few more weeks to see if it sticks? That's a great question, Blake. What's up? You're starting to see some players who really worked in the offseason, and their number's improving. I'm just not sure we have enough of a sample size yet. Sample size? What are you, a scientist, Tim? But I, I do agree, you know, because being a great player, it's about doing it for the entire season, not just for the first few weeks. Well, free throws are definitely not a weakness in Durr's game. Durr is just a player that doesn't want any holes in her game. Now, here's Allen. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Offensive rebound. Here's McCowan. Tries yet again. And the layup is up yeah. and in. And already a very lopsided edge on the boards for them. Yeah, they're plus five in rebounds. That did not take long. Jones outside. Pass to Gray. Durr up top. Now Jones on McCowan defending. Fades. On no good. She should save the fade away for when there's a defender on her. Here's Allen. And a fever hit again from D. That type of D, it's just not going to cut it. They got to get a hand in her face. Too good of a shooter. Jones outside. Pass to Gray. That shot off. Some solid defense from Jontel Lavender. Floats one. Allen's shot is off. To the paint. That one is off. And Indiana will go the other way with it. McCowan with the ball. Inside, Lavender. And plenty of contact on the shot, so the two free throws coming up. And New York called for the foul. At over 80% for her a successful career at the line, Lavender is as good as it gets for centers at the stripe. Not a player you want to foul. And she makes the first. After spending her first eight seasons with the Sparks, Jontel Lavender got a fresh start in 2019 with Chicago, putting up 10 and seven in a solid first year with the Sky. That's also good, so she hits them both. Here's Jones. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Pass to Allen. Here's Han. McCowan defending. Looking to end the run. And that's two points on the layup. And then what a move to lose her defender, getting her on her heels and taking care of the rest with ease. Lavender outside. Alema. Victoria Vivian's on the wing. Watches it. Gets a three-pointer to fall. They couldn't have dreamed a much better start they've had here tonight. Yeah, they came in with a tremendous offensive game plan. It's worked perfectly, and what a lead they already have to show for it. And you got to give credit to this coaching staff as well. They came into this game prepared perfectly. Now here's Gray. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Victoria Vivian. Pass to Allen. Now here's Alamon. Now here's Vivian's. 
Five to shoot. Tipped away. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Here's Allen. Not going to go that time. And so the Fever will take it the other way. They've been sensational on the boards to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a good word for it, Tim. That's good. You usually have the right word for these kinds of situations. Just tearing it up on the glass. How kind of you, Brian. Now here's Alan on. Five on the clock. Outside, Oh, my! She'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. Shooting one. It's on Allen. Jones looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Durr. Back to Jones. Clock at four. Here's Allen. Can they get it? Drills it from outside. Fantastic trip down the floor. Jones working it to a wide open teammate. Here is Vivian's. She's covered by Allen. Vivian's with the ball. Pass to McCowan. Now Lavender. And another basket for Indiana. You know, for Lavender, she's made shots from this area of the court easy. Oh, oh, count it. Count it. That's the count. Insane job by Allen. And listen to this place explode. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Fever ahead, up 11. Stay with us as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. a neck and neck game but as the second quarter starts there is plenty of time for a comeback and guys fever pretty much in control here i love the effort on the glass right out of the gate from them and it takes effort from all five players to get a rebounding advantage like this here's Yanescu. and here's Durr. Ionescu outside, pass to Gray, back to Ionescu. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. They're just killing them in the paint. You can say that again. I mean, the defenders aren't being nearly aggressive enough down low. They're just killing them in the paint. Thank you. Now here is Breland. Allen, guarded by Durr. Here's Mitchell. Six to shoot. Wing shot on the way, but she gets it back. Up top, Allen. Let's the three fly. Does not find the hole, her second miss, and she is now one for three. When it comes to Benai Delaney, you have to think about her breakout season. She had in the rubble in 2020. Everything coming together for her that year. Laney with it. Now Mitchell defending. Laney's shot is off. The Fever with the lead. Pass to Allen. Reeland. Here's Allen. Picked up by Breland. Mitchell outside. Here's Breland. Covered by Ionescu. Breland misses. And that breakout season got Laney a lot of accolades. She made the all-defensive team and received the award for the most improved player. Yeah, and that was well-deserved because she took a huge leap that year. She had torn her ACL shortly into her pro career, so it was great to see her all the way back and playing the best basketball of her life. Now here is Breland. 
quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Here's Allen. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Putting that 6-4 frame to use, Lavender can just out-muscle opponents for boards, create second chance opportunities. Here's Ionescu. She has six. Pass to Durr. Howard with the ball. Breland defending. Out of bounds, it'll be the ball. ball. Substitution for the field. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Lavender outside. Pass to Mitchell. Reeling right side to the inside. Puts it up from 12. Misses off the right iron. Now here is Yanescu. She's covered by Mitchell. Gray outside. Whitcomb. To the paint. Here's Howard. She scores the basket. That's field goal number three for her. Well, you like to give maybe a degree of difficulty bonus there for Howard. Great concentration to put it through the hoop. Outside Robinson. Pass to Breland. Mitchell outside. Just five on the clock. Jacks up a three. And it's out of bounds to the feet as Indiana retains possession. Outside Robinson. Mitchell outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Picked up by Breland. The fader. Ugly second quarter for her. And now I kind of think she's starting to press. Pass to Ionescu. Now Howard. Lady outside. Howard inside. Breland defending. Howard can't get it to go. Look at the shots you hate to miss. An opportunity and a possession gone. Mitchell's shot's good. Mitchell. And when Mitchell's threes are falling, she's nearly unguardable. There's just so much you have to account for. Now here's Laney. Up top, Whitcomb. Back to Laney. This one for three. And it's Lavender with the rebound. And not only increase their rebound advantage, they've definitely been winning that battle today. And control the boards has given them control of this game. Now here is Breland. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Mitchell with it. And it's Howard picking her up. A shot by Mitchell, no good. And it's New York's ball. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Here's Gray. Can't get it to fall. You see defenders afraid to get in her way a lot of times when she's on her way to the bucket, but not that time. Mitchell. That shot, no good. Great D that time from Sabrina Ionescu. Down low. Power, that's good. We've seen this before. Power playing with some power down low. Pushes right past the contact of the bucket. Now a timeout called by Indiana.
Tina Fever making a change here. In for Indiana, Tiara McCallum. Here's McCowan. She's got nine. Now here is Robinson. Tight defense on her. Mitchell outside. Just four to shoot. Rebound New York. Now Ionescu. She has six. Pass to Laney. Gray. McCowan defending. Gray in the post. McCowan's there. Laney with it. Now Breland defending. Howard can't get it to go. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Defended by Laney. And they're on the break. Gray in the post. McCowan's there. Pass to Whitcomb. Here's Ionescu. Stolen by Danielle Robinson. And here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. Yes. Kelsey and it's Mitchell. Jessica Breland with the assist that time. She can shoot off the dribble a lot, but Mitchell is also adept at shooting off the delivery. A crisp pass helps her square up. Now here is Ionescu. Laney with it. Ionescu, Robinson covering. Ionescu, left side. Makes it off the glass. Never scared to score near the hoop. Ionescu has a really impressive touch inside. Pass to McCowan. Outside Robinson. The screen by Breland. It's Tiffany Mitchell on the wing. The three. That's her fourth miss from the floor, and she's made two of her shots. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys, but as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. But for the defense, they got to talk to each other. Clearly in air, not getting out there on her three-point attempt. Now here is Breland. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's McCowan. Mitchell outside. Beyond the arc. And here's the call on Tierra McCowan. That's her first foul. New York calls timeout. You gotta love Kelsey Mitchell's offensive game. She's got a terrific shot and knows how to put it to work usually collecting plenty of points for her team. New York trailing here. Laney outside. The 
shot off that time. Jessica Breland with some nice D. They are really getting the work done inside with the rebound attempt. They haven't allowed many second chances. It's been one and done for the most part, and that's helped them build this lead. Now here's Vivians. Screen by McCowan. Vivians with the ball. Guarded now by Laney. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound. Fever. Pass to Alamont. Back to Robinson. McCowan shoots over Allen. And no good trying to use the glass. McCowan with the bucket. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Outside Whitcomb. And here's Laney. That's tipped. It's Jasmine Jones on the wing. Robinson covering. Past Alama. Now McCowan. And here is Robinson. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Clock at two. There's the triple. He can't get that one. And New York will come the other way. Laney outside. Over Breland. Here's Allen. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Perseverance, it always pays off on the offensive glass. Pass to McCowan. Robinson up top, guarded by Jones. Robinson, no oh good. Now here's Allen, covered by Vivian. Outside Whitcomb, on. Pulls up. Again, the Liberty, good for two. Great pass, great shot. Lanny, ready to deliver. The Fever leading. Pass to McCowan. Now with off. Guarded by Jones. Robinson with the ball. Shot for 12. And Laney pulls it down. Well, for what's a routine shot, she looked a little nervous on that release, wouldn't you say? Here's Jones. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Breland. Outside Vivians. Alema. Breland left side. Cans the shot with nobody near her. An efficient player. Breland plays her strengths, but can also operate outside of the comfort zone. And that does it for the first half of the play. Fever ahead, up eight. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Second half beginning in a moment. You look at Kelsey Mitchell, what a contribution. Well, in terms of her points in the first half, that's pretty much what uh, we've come to expect. Which tells you really all you need to know about what a strong talent she is. I mean, I'm going to bet that she adds a lot more to her totals after the break. The second half just about to get going here. Here's Ionescu. Eight points for her. Pass to Laney. Oh. 
Mitchell grabs the board. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. Just a ton of effort out of them down low. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. That's what's put them in front. Now here is McCowan. He's got 11. Count it. A capable distributor who sees Jessica. the floor well. Breland always keeps her head up. Here's Ionescu. Sweet little floater. She knew what she wanted to do all along. The teardrop. So it's Indiana now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Back to Robinson. Mitchell. Just five to shoot. Floats one up. Here's Freeland. The rebound by the Liberty. Now here is Ionescu. Ten points for her. Laney outside. On. Robinson covering. Fades and shoots. On. No good. And here's Indiana. Eight point game. Outside Robinson. Here's Mitchell. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Sabrina Ionescu. Laney outside. Over Mitchell. She can't hit that time. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Back to Robinson. Pass to Mitchell. McCowan. Now Robinson. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Stolen by Laney. Fast break, here they come. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Here's Howard. Count it. Number five from the floor of this game. She pushed up 11 so far. It's pretty simple for Howard. She went to the gym, worked her tail off, and the 2018 most improved player can hit from here now. Now here's Mitchell. 12 points for her. Screen by McCowan. Mitchell outside. Six on the shot clock. Out to the left wing. Reeling. That one wide left. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish it there. Whitcomb with it. She's covered by Mitchell. Laney outside. Ionescu outside. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Fever. Robinson with the ball. It's Tiffany Mitchell on the wing. Defended by Laney. Pass to McCowan. It falls for her seventh bucket of the contest. She's seven for nine today. It's so fun to see McCowan pour it in tonight. A true center. Don't see too many like her anymore. Laney with it. And McCowan picks her up defensively. Laney's shot is off. There's no way around it. It's been a difficult game for her offensively, and it has cost her team. Pass to McCowan. Mitchell. To the middle. Here's Breland. Great D that time from Sabrina Ionescu. She just continues to struggle from the field. Now, her team has been able to overcome her performance, but I'm not certain that she's going to be able to turn it around today. Now, here is Ionescu. Ten points for her. Now, here is Howard. McCowan defending. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Steps back. Pass to Robinson. Now, Breland. Back to Robinson. Now here's Mitchell. We are five. Timeout called the season. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that needed adjusting. And it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned.
know it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution for the field. To the right side. Back to McCowan. The rebound by Gray. New York trailing here. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Pass to Howard. Over to Lavender. Howard misses. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Now here's Allen. Mitchell, Whitcomb defending. It's blocked. Mitchell with it, shoots over Whitcomb, converts Kelsey on the jumper Mitchell. for an easy two. Fantastic dish from McCowan, easy hoop for the team. I love it when a center can move the ball. Outside Whitcomb, Ionescu. Here's Howard. And a great assist that time by Sabrina Ionescu as that one goes in. Well, she's been a bright spot in what has otherwise been uh, a little bit of a struggle for this team. Now here's Allen, covered by Ionescu. Mitchell outside. Pass to McCowan. Four on the clock. Kicks it out to Mitchell. A nice jump shot. So comfortable in catch and shoot situations. When Mitchell gets a clean look, she doesn't hesitate. Outside Whitcomb. Now Ionescu. And here is Gray. McCowan defending. They get it back. And here is Mitchell. 14 points for her. Pass to McCowan. Allen with it. And it's Howard picking her up. Allen's shot is off. And the Liberty with possession here. Trailing by 10. Now Howard. Made that one. It's her seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. I just love the composure Howard plays with inside. She's so comfortable around the rim. Mitchell outside. There's a screen by McCowan. outside that one no good and New York will come the other way and Sturr bangs home the trifecta with the appropriate range and release to sink from downtown Sturr is without a doubt a skilled shooter Teams making some changes here. Into the lineup for Indiana. Pass 
to Allen. Alemar. Now Vivians. Let's go with a three. And Durr pulls it in. Inside, Howard lays it up and banks it in. That's the area where they'd like all their shots to come from. Now here's Alamon. D right on her. Outside, Vivians. There's a screen by McCowan. All sorts of time, and that's yeah, good for two. Nice play by the ball handler and McCowan, finding an opening using the pick and roll. Pass to Gray. Allen. Down low. Outside dirt. To the middle. Deflected. Shot clock at six. Jones with it. Started now by Lavender. She muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul and she's on her way to the line. There's a pattern taking shape. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Yeah, four of their last five baskets have been of exactly that variety. Fever leading. Pass to Vivians. Alema. Five to shoot. Back to Vivians. Knocked loose. Allen with the steal. Asia Durr on the wing. And again, it's the Liberties from deep. Well, you've got to give them so much credit for battling back into this game. It really was an impressive rally, and we'll see how much that a comeback might have taken out of them. See if they can keep that foot on the pedal, because it's tough to keep that up. Yeah, Brian, it is so hard to exert that much energy and now try to uh, keep the lead. Oh, and there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for the three-point play. Going to the line for one. One shot. New York trailing here. Jones outside. Pass to Howard. Rejected by Jontel Lavender. It's more than the length of Lavender causing that block. It's her IQ, her 10 plus years learning in this league. Now they call them layups for a reason. It's uh, not easy to miss that close to the rim. Gray outside, back to Jones. Here's Durr. And she makes good on the layup. It's not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. Just too many looks from in close. You know, usually when teams give up runs like this, it's because they allow chances from inside. Make them beat you from deep. Now here's Vivians. Pass to Allen. The rebound by the Liberty. Gray left side. Shot from six. It's not going to go for her. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. Yeah. The last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it. Now here's Durr. She's covered by Allen. Gray outside. 
pass to Jones. Howard with the ball. That shot off the mark. Some solid defense from Jontel Lavender. Here's Allen. Alema. Got her with the pump fake, just couldn't finish. We're at the end of the third quarter and we've still got a close one. The Fever on top, they lead by a bucket. We're gonna step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And while we have the chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. This is an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for her. Yeah, she served her up some tasty room service right there, guys. Sweet dime. And we're set to start up the action in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. Lavender outside. Up top, Aleman. Covered by Ionescu. Count that one. Maybe the D didn't expect that, but Lavender has adjusted her game. Become a solid jump shooter. Up top, Laney. Reeland defending. Outside, Durr. Pass to Ionescu. Fires the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Garnering so much attention from the defense herself, so Durr plays with her head up and finds open teammates. Now here's Alamon. The screen by Breland. Victoria Vivian's on the wing. Back to Mitchell. Add another field goal to her total. Makes it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. Well, in the paint, Mitchell's power gives her an edge. She's able to get around at any defender. Yanescu has it. She's guarded by Lavender. Here's Laney. Over Breland. Laney, good. When you talk about Laney, she's so versatile in how she gets her points. Lavender outside. Pass to Mitchell. Picked up by Breland. Makes that one fall. It's her team bucket in 15 shot attempts. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Now here's Laney. Rebounded by Vivians. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's Alamon. Out to the right wing. Releases. Great D that time from Sabrina Ionescu. Well, thus far they managed to overcome an off game from her offensively. Laney outside. Another shot. Can't connect from short range. Well, the effort's been there for her, but not the results. Pass to Breland. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Liberty. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's New York now. It's a three-point game. Laney outside. No good on that shot. Some solid defense from Jontel Lavender. Right side, Robinson. Pass to Mitchell. Now here's Breland. Six to shoot. Count that one. Well, she's a modern point guard. Mitchell has range, a great shot, handles, 
and of course, the ability to drop dimes. Now, here is Ionescu. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. To the inside. Laney, good. You gotta appreciate how Ionescu reads the defense. Terrific job of finding the open teammate there. Freeland outside. Master Robinson. Hit by Lavender. Danielle Robinson goes in. On grabs the miss. New York trailing here. Stolen by Danielle Robinson. Takes the 13-footer. The rebound by the Liberty. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Now here's Laney. Over Mitchell. Here's on. Misses from short range. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. Here's Robinson. Misses from close range. He's missed every single shot. All of them he's attempted today. But somehow, they're still in front. Pass to Laney. Back to Inescu. Four on the shot clock. With them. They finally fought all the way back to even the score. We've got a whole new ball game. Yeah, and they've got all the momentum in the world right now after that comeback. So you just have to like their chances the rest of the way. Now here's Robinson. Pass to Mitchell. Lavender. Here's Robinson. Laney with some nice D. She just has not been able to make anything this quarter. Up top, Allen. Pass to Ionescu. Over Mitchell. And she didn't get quite enough under that one. Outside, Robinson. Freeland. Back to Robinson. Mitchell outside. Over Ionescu. Mitchell shots good. Nice, smooth jumper by Mitchell from mid-range. She can attack from almost anywhere on the court. Outside Whitcomb, Laney. And there's the foul, it's on Danielle Robinson. That'll be her second foul of the game. Substitution for the field. Point play. That's good. Hit. And guys, Shooting after one. trailing for such a long time, they have to be feeling good about tying it up. Hey, I mean, I would be. It's the fourth quarter, momentum on their side, ahead of steam. They should be feeling good. What an end we've got coming. falls and that puts them up it's a one-point game now so it's indiana now it's danielle robinson on the wing covered by unescu the drive by tiffany mitchell here's lavender that's in it's her fifth field goal and she's shooting a hot 71 percent five for seven Ionescu outside, Mastellini. Looking to get back on track. 
Rebounded by the Fever. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Mitchell, covered by Ionescu. And here's Lavender. Back to Mitchell. Shoots the three. Connects from three-point range. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. She did that to a degree in the first half, and she's doing it now in the second. Now here is Ionescu. Pass to Laney. Howard, she's guarded by Lavender. For 13, Robinson grabs the miss. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Poked away, but they get it back. There's another opportunity. I mean, everything is going right for them. Outside, Whitcomb. Laney outside. Outside, Howard. From the yard. The basket good off the assist from Laney. Because Howard stays in control and plays within herself, she's able to put together a scoring outburst like this one. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Oh, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of. Now Ionescu. Back to Laney. Down to five on the shot clock. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. They've had their chances. They're playing with passion. They've just got to tighten things up execution-wise. Brings it from beyond the arc. She has put her foot on the gas pedal this quarter. She's doing a tremendous job leading their offense. Now here's Laney. Can't hit from in close. Yeah, and ever since halftime, she's been ice cold. Very little going her way out there. Mitchell's shot's good. She has really deep range. Mitchell's offensive game starts with that three-point shot. It forces defenders to pick her up at half court. Ionescu has it. Robinson covering. To the paint. It's stolen by Breland. Pass to Mitchell. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Yeah, Mitchell's really in a groove tonight. She's not being shy at all about shooting rock. 
to the middle. Poked loose. Now here is Robinson. Defense right on her. Mitchell outside. The tray. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Whitcomb, she's covered by Mitchell. Yanescu gets the bucket. Well, we're seeing Yanescu light it up tonight. You can see why there is so much excitement about her when she entered the WNBA. Sabrina has the mindset to take over games. Now here's Robinson. Mitchell. Target with the open look. And it's New York's ball. They trail by seven. Pass to Howard. Over Breland. Howard can't get it to go. That's one she knows she should have drained. Outside Robinson. McCowan with the ball. Picked up by Breland. Back to McCowan. And the shot goes in. A pass from Robinson gets the ball to a wide open shooter. Selfless play pays off with an assist. Impossible for them to come back now. Yeah, just too much work and not enough time. take the win That's and in the end a comfortable win in what was a pretty hostile environment yeah you know it's never going to be easy uh, on the road but they didn't have too many problems tonight. and that's a wrap everyone